In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove the barrel effect caused by a fisheye lens. I'll be using Sony Vegas Pro 13, and the video clip was captured using a Phantom 2 Vision Plus. I already have my video clip loaded in Sony Vegas. I have two clips, I have a tilt and I have a pan. What I want you to notice is that the camera is currently at a 90 degree angle, and at a 90 degree angle, the barrel effect from the fisheye lens is not that visible. As the camera tilts down to a 45 degree angle, you'll see that the barrel effect becomes more prominent. The barrel effect is more prominent because the camera is more at a tilt. So, the edge of your footage is by the edge of the lens. On the next clip, the camera goes into a pan, and what I want to point out here is that the curve from the fisheye lens stays consistent. Here's the curve from the fisheye lens. The reason I'm showing you this is because it's easier to remove the barrel effect from a pan than it is a tilt, and I'll show you why as we go through this tutorial. In order to remove the barrel effect from a clip, you have to know how to add an effects to your clip. Here is how you add an effects to your clip. You mouse over this icon right here and you click on it. These are all of the effects that you can add to your clip. Today we're working with Sony Deform. So now I'm going to select that clip and click OK. This screen here is all of the settings for the effect that I've just added to this clip. I don't want to change anything, I just want to click on the Animate button. What this is, is this is a timeline of the clip that you have selected. This little diamond is called a keyframe. This is where you can change the settings of your effect throughout the timeline of your clip. Currently I have everything all zeros, but to start off, I usually start off with 0 .50 under the amount. That is the amount of the effects that you want to apply. And let me show you how this effects affects your video. As you can see, this morphs my video. And you really don't have to mess, worry about messing up because you can just zero it out and start over. So as you can see, my video is back to where I started. And we're currently at a 90 degree angle, as I said. So I want my effects to start out with zero. So I don't have anything changed here. And as I progress forward, the effect is going to become more prominent from the, from the fisheye lens. So, I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and go to the end of my video. This is where the effect is most prominent from the fisheye lens. This is my last frame. So, what I'm going to do is try and select the frame before that so I can see the video. Now, the beginning I have all zeros, in the end, this is where I want to end up, is with a level horizon. So let's go ahead and alter our video. Now you can see there's hills here and there's hills in the background. So though this looks like a curve, it's not. I have a little too much of a curve right here, so I want to remove that. And don't worry about the black at the top and the bottom of your screen. We'll be able to correct that. And how you correct that is you use your squeeze sliders, the left and the right. Generally, you want the left and the right to be the same. What I do is I move the slider bar until I have most of it gone. Then I try and equal the two out.
So there, what I've done is I've removed all the black at the top of my screen, and my horizon is pretty straight. My camera was actually kind of at a tilt, so the horizon looks slanted, but there's no curve or barrel effect caused by the fisheye lens here. So now let's look at our video, and let's see if we fixed our problem. As you can see, there's really not a lot of the barrel effect noticeable. There's a little bit, and we're going to correct that right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a little bit off at the end keyframe. Okay, I think that looks good, and what we've just done is we've removed the barrel effect from our tilt. The pan is much easier as you only have to set one keyframe. Okay, so here's my, here's my effect from the fisheye lens. Let's go ahead and remove that. So we add our effect, which is Sony to focus or I'm sorry, Sony Deform. And then we want to add 0.50. And then let's go ahead and move our slider bar for the top. I think that's pretty straight. Let's remove our black at the bot bottom and the top of the screen. Okay, and I think that should do it. You'll notice we only have one keyframe. Let's check out our video. Now, Sony Vegas is a little bit jumpy when you're using higher settings because the output screen only uses one core on your computer. But we can fix that by turning this down a little bit, which is what I'm going to do. It looks like we still have a little bit of the barrel effect going on here, so I'm going to try and fix that. And with your video, you can tweak it until perfection, but this is pretty much how you remove the effect. I'm going to go ahead and re-encode this so you can see it in full resolution. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my video clips rendered. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like. So now you can see our tilt. You don't have the fisheye effect, and then we go into our pan. There's a little bit there because the bottom kind of morphs a little bit. The fisheye lens affects the top and the bottom and the sides. So you can actually tweak this to perfection. But what I was showing you here is the process that you use to fix that. 
So with a, with a project you want to be perfect, you'll obviously take the time. I wanted this video to be relatively short, so I didn't take your whole day. Um, if this has helped you at all, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'll probably be making more tutorials. Until next time.